Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Indira, from the Department of uh, Mathematics, uh, Manipal Institute of Technology, Manipal. At the outset, let me thank uh, Jilla Panchayat uh, Urupi Jile for uh, giving me this opportunity. My special thanks to uh, Balakrishna S. Madhodi, Professor from uh, MIT Manipal, for uh, suggesting my name. Uh, today's topic is uh, differentiation. Uh, before we start off with the topic, I would like to uh, share a few points with you. The first point is, you have to study from your books properly. Questions for CET will only be framed based on your textbooks. So if you are thorough with the textbooks, you don't have to worry at all. Okay. The second point is, board exam has a lot of choices. So based on the board exam paper, you don't do selective study. Majority of the students make this mistake. There is plenty of choice in uh, board exams, but when it comes to entrance, there is no choice. So that being the case, if you don't do the selective study, if you study the entire subject, it is going to help you a lot for seed. Okay. The third point I would like to tell you is uh, in all your uh, textbooks at the end of each chapter, there is summary and uh, study summary on a regular basis because few questions for CET would be based on those summaries. And uh, usually in one classroom when the CET is conducted, there will be 16 uh, students and for 16 students, 16 different sets of papers will be given. Although the questions are same, the order in which they appear is different. So there is a possibility that you may get a question paper where the first two pages or three pages, uh, there are questions which you are not uh, uh, know how to solve or you are not aware of. So in that case, please don't panic. Page is tirukstha hogi, last page in the banni, the middle page in the nodi. Eliyadru vandalla vandkade nimge gottiru vandha kelao questions gadu kaanatthi. So one more not question nimge gottiru vandha nimge solve maadidre, automatically your confidence will build up nimge solve maadrike sula baadatthi. First page alli kashta unto vandha heli nimge maadlikke, yoh idu kashta unto vandha tension. So please remember this. You will remember, otherwise not. Another point that I would like to tell you is CETLE, other one question is answer Banda Kudle, OMR sheet is mark mark. You have question paper, answer mark mark. On the end of the Hatu questions, and then you mark mark the Nantra transfer it to OMR sheet. Because if for every question, if you shuffle between the paper, you will be losing few seconds. Those seconds will pile up and become minutes, and each minute is precious in seed. There is a possibility that you do one question in your correct to go to go, even on all my dinner, you must allow and the heading you wasn't right. I'm like, okay, yeah, actually, in the world, thinking that I have tried it, I know it. Please don't keep trying it. Another one question again in answer Bantu, all options are in the header, you know, we try Madi, Puna options are in the there may be a possibility that there is a mistake. So don't worry, leave it and go to the next question. So very important is not losing your confidence. So all Martha Hodagi questions again answer Bande Bharat. So Number topic again, what I have done is I have chosen uh, questions from uh, previous year CET uh, so that you will get an idea of uh, how the questions will be. And you must have heard a saying, I see, I know, I do, I learn. So if you simply look at the screen and understand there is no point, along with looking at the screen and understanding, you must and solve it on your own. So let us uh, begin. We'll solve it together. Okay. Uh, first, what I considered is the last uh, five years questions. So uh, CET 2018 onwards have taken the questions. So the question says, if cos y is equal to, oh sorry, if cos y is equal to y, then what is dy by dx? Now, can you see here, 
that x is coming alone and all the options involve y so in such cases you need to make a substitute x substitute mark for it just a minute you sir try to get an expression for x what is x x is cos y divided by cos of a plus y i am assuming that you are writing along with me please do that so we will find dx by dy that means we are differentiating x with respect to y so what is the derivative of x with respect to y here can you see that it is of the form u by v where you have to apply quotient rule so it is denominator into derivative of the numerator what is derivative of the numerator minus sin y minus numerator derivative of denominator what is derivative of cos of a plus y sin of a plus y divided by square of the denominator correct so what will this be this is minus cos of a plus y sin y plus sin of a plus y cos y divided by cos square of a plus y now is it of the form sin x cos y plus cos minus cos x sin y just look at here sin x cos y minus cos x sin y which is what sin of x minus y divided by cos squared of a plus y and here y and minus y gets cancels what remains is sin a divided by cos squared of a plus y so this is your dx by dy what is asked this dy by dx which should be reciprocal of this so it is cos squared of a plus y divided by cos y so which is the answer is the second one so what is the here x is coming alone so i write x in terms of y and i differentiate x with respect to y i can see that it is cos y by cos of a plus y so i have to apply the quotient rule which says denominator into derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator so what you get is sin x cos y minus cos x sin y which is sin of x minus y y and minus y gets cancels what remains is sin a by cos square a plus y so from which by taking reciprocal i get the answer as second option okay the next question is f of x is mod of cos x minus sin x what is that you have to find out is derivative of this function at x is equal to 5 by 6 how do you define mod x mod x is x if x greater than or equal to 0 minus x if x less than 0 
that means modulus always gives you the positive value let us look at the function sin x and cos x this is x this is y let us say this is pi by 4 this is pi by 2 can you see that sin x increases from 0 to pi by 2 cos x decreases as x decreases from this is 1 here is 0 can you see that up to 0 to pi by 4 this is the graph of cos x this is the graph of sin x up to 0 to pi by 4 cos x graph is above the sin x graph and after pi by 4 cos x is less sin x is more right and can you see that your pi by 6 is here so from 0 to pi by 4 cos is more than sin therefore around pi by 6 around x is equal to pi by 6 your f of x is cos x minus sin x Suppose say for your batch they may ask a potential of pi by 3. Then pi by 3 is where? Pi by 3 is here. Can you see that after pi by 4 sin is more cos is less. So accordingly you have to take. Now around x equal to pi by 6 f of x is this. Now tell me what is derivative of cos x? It is minus sin x. What is derivative of sin x? minus cos x. After this, you actually should not do any calculations. Why? See, f dash is minus minus and the value pi by 6 is in the first quadrant where both sin and cos are positive. So, this has to be negative. Both negative, how many options are there? Only one, is it not? There is only one option which has both negative. Therefore, that should be the option. So, you can save some time if you use such logic. Otherwise, you have to do f dash of pi by 6 which is minus sine pi by 6 minus cos pi by 6. Minus sine pi by 6 is half. Cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2, take out minus, just a minute, take out minus half, it is 1 plus root 3 divided by 2. But if you have used the logic, you could use save the time in writing and doing this much of work. This much of work you could have saved time if you had used logic. I have f dash x is minus sin x minus cos x and x is pi by 6 which is in the first quadrant. Therefore, both terms are negative. Both terms are negative. There is only one option. Therefore, that should be the option. There is only one option, therefore that should be the option. Okay, let's go for the next. If y is equal to root of x plus root of x plus root of x, etc., you have to find out what is dy by dx. So this again is a question from your textbook. up to infinity. Now can you see that if I take this much, I can take that also as y because this expression has infinitely many terms. Just like in from a sea, if you take out few drops of water, forget about few drops of water, few buckets of water, will you be able to make the difference? You won't be able to make out the difference. Same way, if I just leave out the first x, 
then still whatever expression you have that will be y so what i get is y is equal to x plus root y and i don't like differentiating a root so what i will do i will square on both sides x is y squared equal to x plus y. Now I will differentiate 2y dy by dx is 1 plus dy by dx. Derivative of y squared is 2y, derivative of y is dy by dx. So therefore, 2y minus 1, bring this dy by dx to the left. You want to get an expression for dy by dx. So put all term containing dy by dx on one side, remaining terms on the other. What you get is dy by dx is 1 by 2y minus 1 and that is the fourth option. It is the fourth option. I hope I'm clear. You are taking just this next root x onwards. Again, it is repeated. We are considering this whole thing as y. So your y is root of x plus y. I don't want to differentiate root. So what will I do? I'll square on both sides. Then it becomes simple. 2y dy by dx is 1 plus dy by dx. Let's go for the next question. This is from CET 2019. This again, the question is there in your uh, textbook. So here, what I have to differentiate is sine inverse of. So please remember, whenever I have inverse trigonometric function, whenever we have inverse trigonometric function, Substitute simplify then differentiate What is the idea? Whenever you have inverse trigonometric function first you substitute then simplify then differentiate don't directly differentiate. You have to substitute and simplify and differentiate. So here, what I have is f of x is equal to sine inverse of 2 into 2 power x, 1 plus 2 power x whole squared. Why? Because 4 power x can be written as 2 squared to the power x and that I can write it as 2 power x whole squared. Now, does this give you an idea that I should substitute 2 to the power x is equal to tan theta? Because 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta is sine 2 theta. Sine inverse sine gets cancels. So 2 power x you substitute it as tan theta. What you get is sine inverse of 2 tan theta 1 plus tan square theta. That is sine inverse of sin 2 theta. If you know sin inverse and sin cancel, what is it? 2 theta. Uliyate. From here, what is your theta? Is it tan inverse of 2 to the power x? So, that will substitute. Maadi. 2 into tan inverse of 2 power x. So, this is your y. So, what did we do? We did the substitution. We did the simplification. Now what is the next step? We have to differentiate. 
So whenever you have inverse trigonometric function, first step is substitute, second step is simplify, third step is differentiate. Now what is derivative of 2 is a constant, it remains as it is. What is derivative of tan inverse? 1 by 1 plus x squared. And in the place of x, what do you have? 2 to the power x into derivative of 2 power x is what? 2 power x log 2. So you should know these standard formulae. Derivative of a power x is a power x log a. Derivative of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x squared. I hope you are doing the questions. So, x is equal to 0 gives you dy by dx is, here it is 2, 2 power 0 is 1, log 2, 1 plus 2 power 0 is 1. 1 squared. So how much that comes to be? Log 2. Just check if that is alright. The answer is log 2. Derivative of tan inverse is 1 by 1 plus x squared. Then derivative of 2 power x is 2 power x log 2. Put x is equal to 0. This will become 2 power 0 which is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 by 2 gets cancelled. So what remains is log 2. So fourth one is the option. Yes. The next tip that you should remember is if you have parametric representation Try to eliminate the parameter. That means if you can get a relation between x and y, your situation is very simple. Can you see that here x is a secant square theta, y is a tan square theta. You have to find d squared y by dx squared. As it is, if you differentiate, it is going to take a long time. So instead what we shall do, we'll use this. What is this says? If you have parametric representation, eliminate the parameter. Now if you see here, what is x minus y? Is it a into secant square theta minus a into tan square theta? So a can be taken outside secant square theta minus tan square theta which is equal to a because secant square minus tan square is 1. Now what is dy by dx? Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of a is 0. d squared y by dx squared is 0 and that is first option. So for inverse trigonometric function, remember, substitute, simplify, differentiate. For parametric differentiation, whenever there is a parametric equation, see if you can connect the two parameters. Okay? I hope you are done with it. Let's go for the next question. f of x is sine inverse 2x by 1 plus x squared. Just now we have visited this question. Similar one. Try to see that questions will be of same type. If you practice, you can easily score. What should be the substitution? X is equal to tan theta. What will be this? Sign inverse of 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. And what is 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta? Is sine 2 theta, which is equal to 2 theta. So theta is what? Tan inverse x. 
So therefore, what is f dash of x? 2 by 1 plus x squared. What is asked? f dash of root 3. So it is 2 by 1 plus root 3 whole square. Root 3 square and rest I 2, 3 I 2, 3 plus 1 and 4, 2 by 4 and half. So which is the answer? Third one. Can you see that again the same formula is being used? Sine inverse of 2x by 1 plus x squared means you have to go for x equal to tan theta, sine inverse sine 2 theta, 2 theta, 2 tan inverse x. So let's go for the next question. I have 2 power x plus 2 power y equal to 2 power x into 2 power y. 2 power x plus y is what? 2 power x into 2 power y. So what I will do? I will divide by 2 power x into 2 power y. Here it is 2 power x, 2 power x, 2 power y, 2 power x, 2 power y. In the cancel agi 1 only. In the cancel agi 2 power minus y, y cancel agi 2 power minus x equal to 1. Now if I differentiate, what's the derivative of a power x? a power x log a. Alva. So 2 power minus y is 2 power minus y log 2. Then derivative of minus y is minus dy by dx. Plus 2 power minus x is the derivative. 2 power minus x into log 2 minus x is the derivative is minus 1 equal to 0. So what remains is, can you see that the right hand side is 0, therefore I can cancel log 2. Otherwise also, let us write down the expression dy by dx is 2 to the power minus x log 2. There is a negative sign, when it goes to the right side, it will become positive. Divided by minus 2 to the power minus y log 2. Now again, if you use the logic, can you see that there is a negative sign <laughs> for the and negative sign appears only in the third option. There is a negative sign in the derivative and negative sign appears only in the third option. So you don't have to further uh, simplify this. Log 2, log 2 gets cancelled. This minus y comes to the numerator. It becomes plus y. But none of that you have to do because there is only one option with a negative sign and answer should be negative. So therefore, third option is the option. x e power y is equal to e power x. So whenever you have something to the power something. So if you have a power to the what you have to take logarithm on both sides. So you should go for logarithmic differentiation. So I will take x e power y is equal to e power x. So log of x e power y is log of e power x. Log m n a no m log n. And log and e are inverse functions of each other. Agagi log of e power x will become e power x. Then you have studied log of m n is log m log m plus log n is equal to x. But what is the value of log e is 1. So what I have is here y is equal to x by 1 plus log x. 
So let us differentiate. Again, we have to use quotient rule, denominator into derivative of the numerator. Numerator into derivative of the denominator divided by square of the denominator. Now, after this step, you should not again do the simplification. Can you see that here x and x gets cancelled? What remains here? Minus 1. Here, what remains? Plus 1. Plus 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled. What remains is log x in the numerator. Denominator it is 1 plus log x full square. So, with log x, 1 plus log x by 1 plus log x full square is the second option. Is it clear? 1 here, minus 1 here, that gets cancelled. Log x divided by 1 plus log x whole square. Our uh, writing speed is 5 times lesser than our thinking speed. So whichever steps you can do orally, mentally, you do those. Only which you require pen and paper, you use pen and paper. Okay, ninth question. Y is... 2 into x power n plus 1, 3 by x power n. I have to find out what? Second derivative. So, dy by dx is 2 into, what is derivative of x power n plus 1? n plus 1 into x power n plus 3 into 1 by x power n and an avian and the baribodu x to the power minus n. x to the power minus n is the derivative n agate minus n x to the power minus n minus 1 agate. So, ega second order derivative candidiva. I hope uh, new nan jotene jotene barita idiriyanta n plus 1 constant x power n is the derivative n o n into x power n minus 1 plus. 3 into minus n x to the power minus n minus 1 is n agate x to the power minus n minus 1. So, what is that I have? 2 into two into n into n plus 1 x to the power n minus 1. This minus of minus will be plus 3 into n into n plus 1 x to the power minus n minus 2. Now what I want is x squared into d squared y by dx squared n into n plus 1 is constant. I'll take that outside. x power n minus 1. I have multiplied by x squared. 3 into x power n minus 2 into x squared. n into n plus 1. 2x to the power n minus 1 plus 2. I hope all of you know. Law of indices. In here the law of indices. A power m plus m into a power n and a power m plus n. So plus 3 divided by x to the power n. Yake is minus 2 plus 2 cancel. N into n plus 1. What is this whole thing? Can you see that it is y? This whole thing is y. So what you get is the answer is n into n plus 1 y. Answer is n into n plus 1 y. Is this clear? Shall we go for the next question? Okay. So this is a question from CET 2021. Y is cos of x square whole square. Can you see that I have to apply the chain rule here? 
derivative of x squared is what? 2x. Therefore, derivative of cos squared whole squared is cos of x squared. First, I have to differentiate the power. So, what is the power? Cos x squared whole squared. Derivative of x squared is 2x. Again, derivative of cos whole squared is 2 cos. Then I have to differentiate which function? I have to differentiate cos. What is derivative of cos minus sine? Then I have to differentiate which function? x squared. What is derivative of x squared? Is 2x. So let us look at this expression has only sign. This also has only sign. This has only this also has only sign. So that means I have to somehow try to combine these two to get the. So can I write it as this minus comes here 2x 2 sin x square cos x square. And you have the formula. What is the formula says? 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x. So what should be this one? Minus 2x into 2 sin x squared cos x squared is sin of 2x squared. And where is that? Is here. Here again, you can use logic. What logic you can use? This 2 is required for the formula. Therefore, I have only 1, 2. In this 4 is there, Hagagi cancel. Illi 2 illa Hagagi Allah. Illi sa 2 illa Hagagi Allah. So, therefore, which is the answer? Third one is the option. After this step, Himge e 2 yada ke beku, formula ke beku. Annantra would you one day 2. Two yes two options alone to Yaradatha more options are either you further simplify my beku. Ili one day option only two unto. Where all options are two illa. Therefore, option should be third. In which case, I don't have to apply this formula. I don't have to write this step. I would be saving some seconds. Okay. Let's go for the next. For a constant A, you have to find derivative of x power x, x power a, a power x, a power a. Here is the derivative derivative of a power x is a power x log a. This term doesn't have a power x log a. This does not have a power x log a. This does not have a power x log a. Only this term has a power x log a. Therefore, that should be the answer. Otherwise, you please remember derivative of x power x. It is a standard result. You should remember x power x 1 plus log x. Derivative of x power n is what? n into x power n minus 1. So it is a into a power x power a minus 1 and derivative of a power a is what? 0. So which should be the answer? Answer should be the second one. But without differentiating, as I said, you should see which is the term which can easily we can find out. So a power x derivative is a power x log a that is there in only one option. Therefore, that should be the option. Suppose say that term is there in two or more, then we have to look for whether there is x power x derivative or x power a derivative. So, which is the answer? Second option. Consider the following statements. Statement 1 is y is log x to the base 10 plus log x. You have to find out what is dy by dx. And statement 2 is uh, I think it is not clearly seen. Statement 2 is d by dx of log x to the base 10 is something like log x by log 10, I guess. 
and uh, d by dx of log x to the base e is log x by log e. So you have to check which statement is correct, which statement is wrong. If you look at statement 2, can you see that derivative of log x is what? What is derivative of log x? Is 1 by x. Derivative of log x is 1 by x. Here what is given log x by log e, that is not possible. Therefore, statement 2 is false. But statement 2 is false. There are two options, first option and fourth option. So I have to verify whether statement 1 is false or true. So y is log x to the base 10, log x to the base t. When I say derivative of log x is 1 by x, what we mean is base is e. Any other base, it will be specified. Derivative of log x is 1 by x means the, the base is e, not any other base. So this I have to change it to the base e by change of base formula. What is the change of base formula says? If you have log m to the base n, it is log m to the base a, log m to the base a. You are changing it to a common base. Now if I find out what should be my dy by dx, log 10 to the base e is a constant, nothing to do with differentiation. Derivative of log x is what? 1 by x plus derivative of log x is 1 by x. So this is log e to the base 10 divided by x plus 1 by x, which means the first statement is correct. So statement 1 is true, but 2 is false. Statement 1 is true, 2 is false. Here what formula I have used? log of a to the base b is 1 by log b to the base a. So log 1 by log 10 to the base e will become log e to the base 10. So what you have is the first option is correct. So please remember if log of x any other base is given, you have to write it as log x to the base e log a to the base e and then this is a constant you can take it outside you have to differentiate log x okay ha huh. if the parametric equation of a curve is given by x is equal to cos theta plus log tan theta by 2 and y is equal to sin theta then the points for which The slide is not changed. Yes, it is changed. X is cos theta plus log tan theta by 2. Y is sin theta. Then the points for which dy by dx equal to 0 are. Here again, you have to use the logic. What is the logic? What is dy by dx? dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So dy by dx is 0 implies dy by d theta is 0. Why? Because numerator divided by denominator is 0 means what? Numerator should be 0. Now what is this implies? What is y? What is y? Sin theta. Therefore, what is dy by d theta is cos theta. So cos theta is 0 means what? Theta must be n by where n belongs to no. I made a mistake. Let me correct it. Cos theta is 0 means what? 
theta must be odd multiples of 90 degree because you know that cos 90 is zero cos uh, uh, 270 is zero so any odd multiple of 90 degree cos is zero so therefore which is the answer is the second one in uh, during tension if you don't use this logic you will land up trying to differentiate this also which takes time you don't require the derivative of this you first look at what is the question what is asked dy by dx is zero dy by dx is zero means what whenever you have numerator by denominator zero it means numerator should be zero so what is numerator of dy by dx is dy by dt what is y sin theta therefore dy by dx is cos theta cos theta is zero means theta is odd multiple of 90 degrees okay logarithmic differentiation is used when it is function to the power function what is another time that you use if there are too many products uh, too many quotients then apply log on both sides the differentiation becomes easy so what we shall do here i have y is x minus 1 whole square x minus 2 whole square x minus 3 power 5 log anna apply maduva log y en agutte log of the product is sum of the logs so idhen aitu log of x minus 2 whole cube log of x minus 3 to the power 5 so i'm taking log on both sides and log of the product is sum of the logs now if log m power n andre eno m log n so this is 3 log x minus 2 plus 5 log x minus 3 so this is your log y so now i will differentiate derivative of log y is what 1 by y derivative of y is dy by dx derivative of log x minus 1 is 1 by x minus 1 derivative of log x minus 2 is 1 by x minus 2 and for log x minus 3 It is one by x minus three. So what is your dy by dx? It is y into two by x minus one, three by x minus two, plus five by x minus three. But y and three no. Y and three x minus one whole square. X minus two whole cube, x minus three power five into two by x minus one plus three by x minus two plus five by x minus three. ये का डेरिवेटिव ये ली के लिए दो at x is equal to four. So I will put x is equal to four. What do I get? 4 minus 1. अदन पुना इली 4 अंत हाकी 4 minus 1 ना 3 अंत बर दो मत्ते 3 स्क्वायर्ड 9 अंत बर यू दला. Directly you should calculate. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 स्क्वायर्ड is 9. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 क्यूब is 8. आकर मूर्त एक दो वन दो वन पावर फाइव अंदरे वन ने आगते. इली नहीं तो X minus one and then I two three I two illi three by two I two illi five I two. So idu ombat two into n two in product na seventy two and the tapar bedi. Ado hange illi. Ida LCM n illi six. Eradli na ko mur murli ombat to ay darli mawat to. Ha. Ige no erad na ki n two erad murli r. More only more, more more only on both. What is that I have? Three into four, which is twelve, correct? Into forty-three. 
12 into 43. Here again, you should not do the calculation. In Marbeku, unit digit in one the node. What is the unit digit? 2 into 3 is 6. 6 in the end, I go yes to options. Two. Here are options. 43 and the 12 in the multiply, 56. Barlik Sadhya Unta. Illa. Aga give it should be the option. Gutaita. Illi. Unit digit nodi. 2 into 3 is 6. 6 in the end, I go there are options. Illa. 56 on the 5 and 6. 43 get 12 in the multiply, man, definitely 56 baru dilla. Tumane just the other te, agagi 5 and 6 is the answer. So, what are the two things that we have to know here? If there is product of too many terms, take log and differentiate, it becomes easy. Log m power n means n log m. Correct? Amene multiplication baru aga, multiply maadi matte divide maadu dala, idha terms and idha dhagi idi matte simplify. Simplify Madhva Munche Puna options and node code. Unit digit A non to the node. Unit digit in the name you decide Madhli Kadhati and Tidre. You should not waste time in doing the calculation. Okay, next one. Ah, here, can you see what is given is y is 1 plus x square tan inverse x minus x. Can you see that here I have to use the product rule? So, what does the product rule say? U into derivative of V plus V into derivative of U. So, it is to the derivative with that. Matte minus sigma minus derivative of x no 1. So 1 plus x square. What is derivative of tan inverse x? 1 by 1 plus x plus tan inverse x into what is derivative of 1 plus x square? It is 2x minus 1. Idu cancel again uriate. 1 plus 2x tan inverse x. Idu idu cancel aitu. Answer is first option. Elisa Nodi, can you see that? If you use he one what they do and the cancel at the tenth and you already cancel money there. He cancel money half a line half what time would it do? You then cancel what time would it do? Straight away you can go for the answer as 2x tan inverse x. So, what is that we have done here? We have applied the product rule. Okay, I think. I want to exit from this point. The question is not simple. This question is not simple. The question is not simple. The question is not simple. The question is not
just a minute there is some technical glitch Okay, the question is not visible properly. I'll go to that question later. Okay, now let us come to question number 18. F of 1 is 1, F dash of 1 is 3. You have to find out derivative of you have to find the derivative of f of f of f of x plus f of x whole square. So how do you find the derivative? Suppose say this is your y, dy by dx is, I have to first differentiate this f, which is f dash. Then I have to differentiate this f, again f dash. Then I have to differentiate this f, it is f dash. Plus, derivative of f of x whole squared is what? 2 into f of x. So here I'm using the chain rule. Derivative of f is f dash of. This derivative of f is f dash of. This derivative of f is f of x. See, for example, this f of x, if I take it as u, then this f of x, I can take it as v, then it will be f of v. How do you differentiate f of v? f dash of v into derivative of v, correct? Then you have to differentiate. dv by dx would be what? f dash of f of x. Then derivative of u would be what? f dash of x. So, we are using chain rule here. So, what I get now I need to find uh, Derivative at x is equal to 1. So for this, if I substitute 1, it will be what? f of 1. And how much is f of 1 is given to be 1? So therefore, this again will become f of 1. And how much is f of 1 is given to be 1? So this becomes f dash of 1 into, again, this is 1. So it becomes f dash of 1. This will be f dash of 1. Just check if that is all right. Okay. I'll repeat again. See, f of 1 is 1. Therefore, again, f of 1 will be 1. So, what I have is f dash of 1 for this f dash. Here f of 1 is 1, so I have f dash of 1. Here f dash of 1 plus 2 times f of 1 into f dash of 1. So f dash of 1 is given to be how much? 3. So 3 into 3 into 3 
plus 2 into 1 into 3. How much it is? 27 plus 6, which is 33. So differentiate Madhuaga, first e f and differentiate Madhu. That will be f dash. Amele e f and differentiate Madhu. f dash. e f and differentiate Madhu. f dash. So f of this whole quantity is f dash of this whole quantity into derivative of this quantity. Derivative of this quantity is f dash of f of x. Then derivative of f of x is f dash. Put x is equal to 1, f of 1 and 1 i 2, so f of 1, 1 i 2, f dash of 1, 3 i 2. f of 1, 1 i 2, f dash of 1, 3 i 2, this will be 3. So this is f of x whole squared. x squared is how do you differentiate? 2x. So f of x whole squared means 2 into f of x. Then you have to differentiate f of x, which is f dash x. So the answer is 32. Okay. So let us look at this. Okay, so seventeenth question is not visible properly there. The question is y is equal to e to the power root x root x root x root x and so on. So what is that you have? Y is uh, I'll take log on both sides or let it be as it is. y is equal to e to the power. Can you see that for the first f it is x to the power half. For the next f it is half into half 1 by 4. For the next x it is half into half into half 1 by 8 and so on. So what I have is e to the power x power half plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and it continues. Can you see that this is a geometric progression with if you have a, a r, a r square, a r cube, etc. What is the sum? It is a by 1 minus r. Now in this case your a is half, r is also half. So what I have is e to the power x to the power half by 1 minus half, e to the power half, 1 minus half is half, half and half gets cancelled. What remains is y is equal to e power x. So what is dy by dx, e power x? The question is d squared y by dx squared. So d squared y by dx squared is e power x. We will need to find the derivative at x is equal to log 3. So I will put x as log 3. It is e to the power log 3. As I said earlier, e and log are inverse functions of each other. Therefore, e power log 3 is 3 itself. So the answer for the 17th question is 3. Answer for the 17th question is 3. Try to understand here, the statement looks so big. Then you get scared. So let us not do it. No. x power half from 2, second x to the power 1 by 4, third x to the power 1 by 8. Then this is a geometric progression. A by 1 minus R is the sum. Half by 1 minus half cancel. Agi e power X. Derivative of E power X is E power X. Again, when you differentiate second time, it is E power X. Now, if you put X as log 3, E and log are inverse functions of each other. What remains is 
3. Okay. Now the next uh, 16th question is x is e power theta sin theta y is e power theta cos theta. Okay. X is e power theta sin theta y is e power theta cos theta. You are asked to find the derivative at 1 comma 1. So what do I do? dx by d theta I have to find. It is e power theta into cos theta sin theta into derivative of e power theta is e power theta. What is dy by d theta? e power theta into derivative of cos theta which is minus sin theta cos theta into derivative of e power theta which is e power theta. So dy by dx is minus e power theta sin theta plus e power theta cos theta divided by e power theta cos theta plus e power theta sin theta. e power theta vanna common agi varge tegdu cancel maadbodu. What remains is minus sin theta plus cos theta cos theta plus sin theta. Here the derivative is asked at which point at x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. So x is 1 means e power theta sin theta is correct. e power theta sin theta is 1. Okay, I can uh, retain that as it is. I can retain that as it is. The statement is e power theta sin theta is what? Minus x. e power theta cos theta is y. e power cos theta is y plus x. So this is minus 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, which is equal to 0. So dx by d theta, I have applied the product rule. dy by d theta, again I have applied the product rule. Then dy by dx is dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So this e power theta sin theta x, e power theta cos theta is y. And the derivative is asked at 1 comma 1, so you get it as 0. Okay, this has been done. This is done. The answer was uh, 3. Let's go for this question is been done. Ah, let's go for x power sin x, sin x power x. So I have given the shortcut in the synopsis d by dx of f of x to the power g of x. You should mentally remember you are taking log on both sides means you get g of x into log of f of x. So the derivative here is g of x into derivative of log of f of x is what? f of 1 by f of x plus f dash plus log of f of x into g dash of x the whole thing multiplied by f power g. So derivative of f power g is what? Remember it like this. f power g is g by f f dash log f g dash. So what should be this? x power sin x. x power sin x should be what? x to the power sin x into g is sin x divided by x. f dash is 1 log x. Derivative of sin x is cos x plus sin x to the power x. Hmm. You know, g is x, f is sin x, f dash is cos x plus log of sin x, derivative of x is log of sin x, derivative of x is 1. There is no 
some day now what is asked is at x is equal to pi by 2 can you see that x is pi by 2 means cos pi by 2 is what zero so this term will become zero cos pi by 2 is zero so this term will become zero sin pi by 2 is 1 log 1 is zero try to understand cos pi by 2 is 0 so this whole term is gone here cos pi by 2 is 0 whole term is gone sin pi by 2 is 1 log 1 is 0 so the whole term is gone what remains is only x to the power sin x into sin x by x so x is pi by 2 to the power sin x means 1 sin x is 1 x means pi by 2 can you see that pi by 2 and pi by 2 gets cancelled, what remains is 1. So remember this as a standard result. Derivative of f power g is f power g, g by f, f dash plus log f into g dash. Okay? Next, e power y is y plus x y is e. So we have to find the derivative uh, at x is equal to 0. Right? So when x is 0, I get e power y is e because this term will be 0. So therefore, what is y? y is 1. So the required point is 0, 1. Let us differentiate. What is derivative of e power y? e power y into dy by dx. Derivative of x is x into dy by dx plus y into 1 is equal to derivative of e is 0. What I get is e power y into x dy by dx is minus y. I will repeat derivative of e power y is e power y dy by dx xy it is product of two terms x into derivative of y plus y into derivative of x right hand side is 0 so it is 0 so now e power y into x dy by dx is minus y so from here what is your dy by dx is minus y by e power y plus x so find d squared y by dx square it is numerator into derivative of the, I mean denominator, into derivative of the numerator, minus numerator into derivative of the denominator, whole divided by e power y plus x whole square. So you have to substitute x as 0. When you substitute x as 0, this is 0 e power 0 is 1. Can you see that uh, from here when you substitute x as 0, this is 0. This is e power 0 is 1. This is 1. So dy by dx is how much? Minus 1 by e. Now you substitute x as 0. This will be 0. This is e. This is minus 1 by e. So this comes out to be minus 1. Again, I think there is a technical glitch. It is not sensing. Okay, so this is e power y plus x. This e and e gets cancelled here. Minus 1 remains. Here this is minus 1 by e, e. E into minus 1 by e will be minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So this whole term will be 0. This whole term is 0. So what remains is here. It is 1 by e, so minus. So both are negative. Third option is the correct option. Third option is the correct option. Minus 1 by e. Here, can you see that this becomes 0? Because dy by dx is minus 1 by e. e gets cancelled. 
Here what remains is E into minus 1 by E. E gets cancelled, minus 1 remains. So this is what you get. Again, here it is sin x is equal to 2t by 1 plus t square. Tan y is equal to 2t by 1 plus. I think it is 2t by 1 minus t square. There is a mistake in the question. Should be 2t by 1 minus t square. So again, what you have to do is, as I said, if there is a parameter, try to eliminate the parameter. Try to eliminate the parameter. Right? So what I can do, I can write this as x is equal to sine inverse 2t by 1 plus t square y is equal to tan inverse 2t by 1 plus t square 2t by 1 minus t square sin x tan y but look at the options options do not contain x or y or t agar artha yeno chur achiche maadidre circus maadidre namge simple answer there. So, circus magic terms should be 1 plus t square root 2, 1 minus t, t by 1 minus t square root 2, formula nenge nen pirbeku. t get an akidre, idu 2t tagate, idu 2t tagate, x is equal to y, therefore dy by dx is 1, and there it ends. So, the next question again, I don't know what happened. It is not being seen. Okay, uh, let's go for the next question. Tan inverse of sin x or uh, cos x plus sin x divided by cos x minus sin x. Tan inverse formula hakidre ni mu. Tan inverse is the formula dali. Yavagru en untru tan inverse x plus or minus tan inverse y takodi. What do you have? Tan inverse of x plus or minus y, 1 minus plus or minus, minus or plus x, y. So what you have is a 1 here. So tan inverse bandaga, yavadru 1 tarlike try marbeku. So illi 1 barbekan tidriyen marbeku, divide by cos x. So what you do is, you divide both numerator and denominator by cos x. So you get cos x minus sin x divided by cos x. So that is tan inverse of 1 cos x by cos x is 1. Sin x by cos x andre nu tan x cos x by cos x andre 1. 1 minus tan x. Idu beku anta idre. 1 anna ni ven anta bari bodu. Tan pi by 4 plus tan x divided by 1 minus tan pi by 4 into tan x. Is it of the form tan x plus tan y by 1 minus tan x into tan y? And what is tan x plus tan y by 1 minus tan x into tan y? It is tan of x plus y. So tan inverse tan cancel again. We are there. Pi by 4 plus x. Therefore, what is your dy by dx is 1. What is your dy by dx is 1. So please remember, whenever inverse trigonometry comes, you have to first substitute, simplify, proceed. In this case, substitution is not required. Try to make this time 1. And to make this term 1, you have to divide both numerator and denominator by cos. Then it reduces to pi by 4 plus x. So y is pi by 4 plus x. Therefore, dy by dx is what? Is 1. Ah, here let us take y is equal to cos inverse of 2x squared minus 1. Z is equal to cos inverse x. What is required? Derivative of y with respect to z. Correct? So again, we have to go for the formula. Cos in inverse trigonometry, banda kudle substitution. What is the best substitution here? You put x is equal to cos theta. E nagutte y cos inverse of 2 cos square theta 
minus 1. Z in agate cos inverse of cos theta. Ha. 2 cos square theta minus 1 and re no cos 2 theta na. So it is cos 2 theta. Cos inverse cos cancel agi theta uliate. So y is 2 theta, z is theta. So y and re shtai 2. 2z i2 namge bekida denu dy by dz which is 2 that is this answer so hechina the questions ninge erdad line alli answer baruva hage irutte only thing is you need to practice you should remember all these types of tips so inverse trigonometry bandre substitution maadi simplify maadbeku illi iga parametric aitu y is equal to 2 theta z equal to theta so parametric bandre as it is differentiate maadudalla see whether you can get a relation between the uh, variables and you can get rid of the parameter so y is 2z here therefore dy by dz is 2 right hmm. Now, I have x power y is e to the power x minus y. I will take log on both sides. I get x minus y. What is log x power y is y log x. And log and e are inverse functions of each other. What remains? x minus y. I will bring this minus y this side. This is equal to x. So let us take y outside. It is log x plus 1 equal to x. So from here, what is your y? x by 1 plus log x. Now apply the quotient rule and try to differentiate. Is this fine? Actually, did you finish? What is the derivative? dy by dx is denominator into derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator divided by square of the denominator. So this x gets cancelled with this x. What remains is, did we do this question? I think so. Similar question was there earlier. So I get this and this gets cancelled. What remains is log x by 1 plus log x whole squared. So I will repeat what you have is x power y is equal to e to the power x minus y. So log x power y is log e power x minus y. So y log x is what? x minus y. Whenever possible, you try to get y in terms of x. You can do implicit differentiation here. You can do implicit differentiation here. But instead of doing implicit differentiation, what you do is you get y terms on one side and simplify for y. Then you find dy by dx. So what I have done here is the quotient rule. So y is x by 1 plus log x. And hence, after simplification, derivative comes out to be log x by 1 plus log x whole square. So we had missed one question there. Which question? 21st question. Okay. 
Now, the differential coefficient of log x to the base 10 with respect to log 10 to the base x. So, what I will do? I will take I will take y is equal to log x to the base 10, z is equal to log 10 to the base x. As I said, the derivative of log x when we find it should always be to the base e. So now the question is what is dy by dx? The question is what is dy by dx? So what we shall do, we will take log x to the base e, log 10 to the base e. Is it fine? We have changed it to the base e. Now if I have to find dy by dx, so I will just give you 30 seconds, try to do it. Can you see that? 1 by log 10. to the base e is a constant derivative of log x is 1 by x correct ah, here i have to again change the base log 10 to the base e log x to the base e so let us find the derivative Actually, you can use chain rule here, but uh, if you find it using uh, difficult to use chain rule, what we can do is we can still use the quotient rule. It is log of x to the base e into derivative of log 10. Can you see that log 10 is a constant, so derivative should be 0 minus log 10 into derivative of log x which is 1 by x. So numerate denominator into derivative of the numerator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator divided by square of the denominator. So this becomes minus log 10 to the base e divided by x into log x to the base e whole square. This is your dz by dx. So what I want is dy by dz. So write it as dy by dx, dz by dx. Find out how much is that. It is dy by dz is I have to first put 1 by log 10 to the base e 1 by x whole divided by log 10 to the base e divided by log x to the base e whole squared into x. Can you see that this x and this x gets cancelled? Log x to the base e whole squared goes to the numerator. And there will be a minus sign divided by log 10 to the base e whole square. Again here, what you can see is there is a negative sign. Negative sign is there in only one option. Therefore, that should be the option. Other cannot be an option. See. <coughs> Other cannot be an option because there is a negative sign. So negative to, uh, negative sign should be there means the uh, fourth one should be the option. But can you see that I am using here both is to the base e. So I can again change it to x to the base 10 whole square. Log x to the base 10 whole square. Is this fine? Just check if it is all right. <coughs> Is this okay? Sorry. Now the next question is. Yeah. Oh. 
ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇ ನಾವು ಕಳೆದ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇಂದ ಏನು ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ತಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಖುಷಿ ಇದೀರಾ ಅಂತ ಭಾವಿಸ್ತೀನಿ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಡೀ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಗೆ ಹೆಡ್ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಸದ್ಯ ಬಾಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ನಮ್ಮ ಆಡಳಿತ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ಆ ಹಿರಿಯ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಮನೋಜ್ ಜೈನ್ ಸರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿನೂ ಹೌದು ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತಿ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿನೂ ಹೌದು ಇವತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಚುನಾವಣಾ ಕೆಲಸ ಸಮಯ ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಗೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ರು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ತಾವು ಇವತ್ತೆಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೀರಾ ಕೊನೆ ಹತ್ತು ನಿಮಿಷ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಕಾರಣಕ್ಕೆ ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸರ್ ಇವತ್ತು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತಾರು ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಕೂತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಸಹ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಆ ಮೂರ್ ಗಂಟೆಯಿಂದ ನಾಲ್ಕೂವರೆ ತನಕ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಬಂದು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹ ಅವಕಾಶ ಇದೆ ಸದ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಆ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಗೆ ಹೋಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅವರು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅಂತ ಇದಂಗೇನೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಅವರಿಂದ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕಷ್ಟ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರು ಸರ್ವೈವ್ ಆಗೋದು ಅಂತದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರಾಮೀಣ ಪ್ರದೇಶದ ಬಡ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ವರ್ಗದ ಮಕ್ಕಳೇನೆ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಬೇರೆಯವರ ಜೊತೆ ಕಾಂಪೀಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗಲಿ ಅಂತ ಈ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಕುರ್ತು ಒಂದ್ ಎರಡು ಮಾತಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾನು ಮನೋಜ್ ಜೈನ್ ಆಗಿ ಐ ಎ ಎಸ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಉಡುಪಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಇನ್ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಇದು ಬಹಳ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಅವರು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಅವರು ಇದು ಬಹಳ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇವು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳುಗಳು ಈ ಲಾಭ ಪಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರಿ ನಾವು ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೀರಿಯಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ರಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ನೀವು ಸಿ ಇ ಟಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಸಲುವಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಆಗಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ನೀವು ಸೆಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಗೆ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಐ ರಿಯಲಿ ಕಾಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಉಡುಪಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ರಿಯಲಿ ಐ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈ ಬಹಳ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಇದೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಇನೋವೇಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾನು ಬೇರೆ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಗೆ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಇನೋವೇಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೋಡಿಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಸೊ ತಾವು ಎಲ್ಲ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸ್ರಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಗೆ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಇವನ್ಗೆ ನಿಮ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಏನಿದೆ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಮಾಡಿ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಮಾತಾಡಬಹುದು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಸನ್ಮಾನ್ಯ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಉಸ್ತುವಾರಿ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳಾದ ಮನೋಜ್ ಜೈನ್ ಸರ್ ಅವರೇ ಮತ್ತು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಣಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ಆದ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಅವರೇ ಮತ್ತು ಹಾಜರಾಗಿರುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಶಿಕ್ಷಕರು ಮತ್ತು ಬೋಧಕ ಬೋಧಕೇತರ ಸಿಬ್ಬಂದಿಯವರು ಮತ್ತು ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಈ ಕಾಲೇಜುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಇದನ್ನು ಸದುಪಯೋಗ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇರುವ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿನಿಯರೇ ಆ ಮೊದಲನೇದಾಗಿ ಅದನ್ನ ಜಿಲ್ಲಾ ಪಂಚಾಯತಿಗೆ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಸಾಹೇಬರು ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿಗಳು ಮತ್ತು ಮುಖ್ಯ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಾಹಕರ ನೇತೃತ್ವದಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬಾ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಒಂದು ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಮನೆ ಕಾರ್ಯದರ್ಶಿ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಂದು ಮಾದರಿಯಾದ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಯಾವ ಯಾವ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೇ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ನಮ್ಮ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಮಾದರಿಯಾದ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅಹ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವ್ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ನೋಡ್ತೀವಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಒಂದು ಕೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಅಥವಾ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಎಕ
ತುಂಬಾ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ನೂರಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ನೂರು ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದನ್ನು ಸದುಪಯೋಗ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಮುಂದಿನ ದಿವಸಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ದೇನು ಇನ್ನು ಫೀಡ್ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಥವಾ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಅಭಿಪ್ರಾಯ ಆಗಲಿದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಅನುಭವವಾಗಿ ಇನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಸುಧಾರಣೆ ಮಾಡೋ ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಮತ್ತೊಮ್ಮೆ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಶೇಷ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ನನ್ನ ಮಾತಿಗೂ ಮುಗಿಸ್ತಾರೆ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೆಟ್ರಿಕ್ ಸಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ T from both the equations so that you will get the answer easily. So y is, no, this is not y, this is x. X is, if you see, what is the formula that you have learned? E is secant inverse x, same as cos inverse 1 by x. cos inverse x same as secant inverse 1 by x so what you get is here this is cos inverse t square minus 1 so you should be very good at formula what is cos inverse x plus sin inverse x it is pi by 2 so i will try to use that so i want uh, this plus this when is possible if i take the product x into y is e to the power sin inverse t square minus 1 e to the power cos inverse t square minus 1 and e power x into e power y is e to the power x plus y so this is e to the power pi by 2 x into y is e to the power pi by 2 so let us differentiate x into derivative of y plus y into derivative of x equal to derivative of e power pi by 2 which is 0 so this implies what dy by dx is minus y by x that is the fourth option so again as it is if you differentiate it's not an ending story because the derivative of e power is e power sin inverse then derivative of sin inverse is 1 by root 1 minus x squared then derivative of t squared minus 1 is 2t minus 1 so it's a lengthy expression don't go by this what you do there is a parameter p see if you can eliminate the parameter t get the equation in terms of x and y only then situation will be easy next question a ditappa nange marthu hogide nodva 26th 27th 28th question ha ah. Now, next question is tan inverse of x squared plus y squared. Is alpha. Tan inverse of x squared plus y squared is what? Alpha. As it is, if I differentiate, I will be getting 1 by 1 plus x squared, y squared, whole squared, then derivative of this, which is lengthy. So what I do? I will take x squared plus y squared is equal to tan alpha. I am taking tan on both sides. I get x square plus y square equal to tan alpha. Now what is the derivative? Derivative of x squared is 2x. Derivative of y is y squared is 2y. The derivative of y is dy by dx. 
So from here, dy by dx is what? Minus 2x by 2y, which is minus x by y. So here inverse trigonometric comes. As it is, if you differentiate, it will be lengthy. So shift this time to the right side, you get the result. Let's go for the next question. Y is f of x squared plus 2. And f dash of 3 is 5. What is that you require? You require dy by dx at x is equal to 1. So from here, what is dy by dx? Derivative of y is f dash, that is f dash of x squared plus 2. Derivative of f is f dash. Then derivative of x squared plus 2 is what? 2x. So put x give 1 haki. In the derivative. Put x equal to 1. What will be your derivative? It is f dash of 1 squared plus 2 into 2 into 1. This is f dash of 3 into 2. f dash of 3 is given to be 5. So the answer is 10. I'll repeat. Derivative of f is f dash. Then derivative of x squared plus 2x2 2 is 2x. So you have to substitute x is equal to 1. 1 squared plus 2 is 3. f dash of 3 is given to be 5. This is 2. 5 into 2 is 10. Now, 27th question is not seen. I'll write it here. x power m into y power n is x plus y power m plus n. The question is, what is dy by dx? I have given it in the synopsis that I have shared. Please remember for such a equation, dy by dx is always y by x. Same question can be asked in different way. Say for example, x cube y power 6 is x plus y power 9. What is dy by dx? Can you see that here m is 3, n is 6? You can be asked, x power 4 plus y power 4 is x plus y power 8. What is dy by dx? Again, the same story, m is 4, n is 4, so the answer is y by x. It could be x power 5, y power 2 is x plus y power 7. What is dy by dx? In all the cases, what is the answer? In all the cases, what is the answer? y by x. So please remember this as a standard result. If the x power m, y power n is x plus y power m plus n, Derivative is y by x. Okay. Here x is a cos cube theta. Y is a sin cube theta. Here I just require dy by dx. And the options are three options involve theta. So let us not eliminate theta. I will directly differentiate. A is a constant. Derivative of x cube is 3x squared. Therefore, derivative of cos cube is 3 cos squared. Then derivative of cos is minus sine. Similarly, dy by d theta is A is a constant. Derivative of sine cube is 3 sine squared. And derivative of sine theta is cos theta. So my dy by dx is dy by d theta which is a into 3 sine square theta cos theta divided by a into 3 cos square theta minus sine theta. 
one sin theta gets cancels one cos theta gets cancels what remains is minus tan theta therefore what will be your 1 plus dy by dx whole square actually you should not write all these things i get minus tan theta i should look at the question paper minus tan theta whole square that is tan square theta 1 plus tan square is secant square so second one is the option so this is 1 plus minus tan theta whole square that is 1 plus tan square theta which is secant square theta okay next one x is cp y is c by t so dx by dt is what c dy by dt is what c by t square because derivative of 1 by t is minus 1 by t square so dy by dx is minus c by t square divided by c which is minus 1 by t square so you put t is equal to 2 en agutte dy by dx is minus 1 by 2 square agutte which is minus 1 by 4 it's a very simple question here again i need not have to eliminate t from uh, x and y i can simple to see t c by t i can easily differentiate you can also connect x and y but it is not required but answer you can do at t equal to 2 agagi let it be in terms of t derivative of x with respect to t is c with respect to y with respect to t is minus c by t square c c cancel agi minus 1 by t square we get t get two half it you get the answer Ha, this is y is equal to what is log m by n? It is log m minus log n. So now this is derivative of log is what one by derivative of one minus x squared is minus two x. One plus x squared derivative of x squared is two x. So this is minus two x. I will take common. What remains? Minus two x. What I get? One minus x squared. Only minus two x. What I get? One by one plus x squared. So we will make one minus x squared into one plus x squared common denominator. E na gatte one plus x squared one minus x squared. X squared, X squared cancel again. We get one plus one under two I two. If on the two um two, agagi do minus four X. It is A minus B, A plus B. What is A minus B into A plus B? A squared minus B squared. So the answer is minus four X by one minus X power four. This is again simple. I can take log, but without log also we can do dy by dx is what u into v plus derivative of w. Thus, u into w plus derivative of v. Then v into w derivative of u. So it is u v into derivative of this, this into this derivative of this, and this into this derivative of this. So I have to put x is equal to one. When I put x equal to one, what do I get? One plus one two. This is also two four into one cube. Here it is two 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 into one. Here it is two two into one. So this is sixteen. Plus eight plus four. How much will be that? Twenty-eight. So that is the answer. So I'm using here U V W root. How do you differentiate U V W? U V into derivative of W. U W into derivative of V. V W into derivative of U. Product of three functions. Okay.
y is given to be what tan inverse of x whole square so let us differentiate derivative is also denoted by y1 x squared means derivative is 2x so tan inverse x whole square derivative is 2 tan inverse x then derivative of tan inverse x is 1 by 1 plus x squared I have to use the quotient rule. I don't like using quotient rule. So what I will do, I will take 1 plus x squared to the other side. Now I will use the product rule 1 plus x squared into derivative of y1 which is y2 plus y1 into derivative of 1 plus x squared which is 2x. 2 by derivative of tan inverse x which is 1 plus x squared. Now if I multiply by 1 plus x squared, what do I get? 1 plus x squared whole square into y2, 2x into 1 plus x squared into y1 equal to 2. So the answer is what? Fourth option. So what is the technique I have used here? 2 tan x by 1 plus x squared. Now we quotient rule use maadu dhandre agu dilla. Udha sina kashta agutte. Adi ken maadu 1 plus x squared anna left tiki takon hoogudu. Aga nam di use maadu liki avdu product rule. Product rule is easier than the quotient rule. That is how you should understand and remember the steps. Okay. F of x is x cube. G of x is x cube minus 4x. You have to say that g of x and f of x satisfy mean value theorem. That is correct. Mean value theorem, you know, Lagrange mean value theorem says what? That the function should be continuous and function should be differentiable. Can you see that x cube is continuous and differentiable? x cube minus 4x is continuous and differentiable. So, f of x and g of x satisfy mean value theorem. That's correct. Now, what is f of minus 2? is minus 2 cube which is minus 8 f of 2 is what 2 cube which is 8 f of minus 2 is not equal to f of 2 therefore this statement is wrong because for Rolle's theorem, f of a must be equal to f of b. Here, f of minus 2 is not equal to f of 2. Whereas, what can you say about g of minus 2 is minus 8 plus 8, which is 0. What is g of 2? 8 minus 8, which is 0. So, g of minus 2 is same as g of 2. Therefore, what you can say? G of x satisfies Rolle's theorem. So, which are the two statements that are correct? I should have taken this as A, this as B, this is C. A and C are correct, B is not correct. One last question, this again is there in your textbook. You have to find f dash of x. f dash of x is what? 100 into x to the power 99 divided by 100. 1 by 99 is constant. 99 x to the power 98 plus 1 by 2 x square derivative is 2x plus 0. So I have to find out what is f dash of 1. Can you see that f dash of 1 is, can you see that 100 to x power 1, x power 1, 2, 3, up to how many terms are there? 100 terms are there. So this 100, 100 gets cancelled. So how many ones you are adding? How many ones you are adding? You are adding 100 ones. 1, 2, 3, up to 100. There are 100 terms. So when I put x equal to 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. So I am having 100. What is f dash of 0? I have to put this as 0, this as 0, 0. What remains is only 1. So, f dash of 1 is also same as 100 into f dash of 0. So, third option is correct. First option is also correct.
So first option is also correct. Third option is also correct. Okay. So sometimes the questions will be, both the options will be correct. I mean, two or more options will be correct. It rarely happens. In which case, if you have opted the correct option, you will be given marks. Okay. So thank you so much uh, for being with me. I wish all of you the very best, not only for your board and entrance exam, also for your future. So exam is going to be a good thing. So I will be able to do it. So I will be able to do it. So I will be able to do it. So I will be able to do it.